Welcome dear and interesting viewer. Just think for a second about how much more confident you will feel if you watch this video from beginning to end and really internalize everything that I'm about to present to you. Just think about it very carefully. That means you get a focus because math can be a bit tricky and challenging. I understand where you're coming from potentially. So you overcome that by focusing and really paying attention deeply. Form of meditation if you think about it. So you have 2x plus 3x equals 5x. We're going to solve this equation. Now let's make some key observations. Again, let's focus here. This is 2 and this is 3. Notice that this here is x in red and this is also the x in red. If you focus there for a second, you'll see. So now look what happens. You can add up on the left sides because the variable is the same. So you have 5x and this is equal to 5x. But now something unusual happens. This is 5x and look, this is 5x also here. So you have 5x equals 5x. What does that mean? So as an example of what it means, take a look. If x happens to have the value and for no particular reason, just because I literally made it up, you're going to have 5 times 1 and you're going to, well, that's just 5, but that's the same as 5 times 1 on the right side, isn't it? They're both equal to 5. Now imagine x has the value 2, a value I've just made up, but it's a simple value. So then you have 5 times 2, that's 10, but that's the same as 5 times 2 on the right side. They're both equal to 10. So you see, in this case, the left and right sides are always equal, regardless of the value of x you put in. That means if x equals 1 goes in, 5 equals 5. If x equals 2 goes in, 10 equals 10. So 5x being equal to 5x is what we call an identity, okay, dear viewer. Now you could take an additional step. You could say 5x minus 5x equals 5x minus 5x. So what I'm doing is I'm subtracting 5x from both sides. So when I do that, look what happens. I'm going to have 5x minus 5x, which is 0. On the right side, 5x minus 5x is also equal to 0. So when you see something like 0 equals 0, then you know it's an identity also. Let's look at another example. Again, dear viewer, please be sure to watch and internalize everything from beginning to end. This example will be both similar, but a level above the first one. You see, this example on the left side has three terms. Okay, so you go through them carefully. Let's say the following. So 4x minus 3x, those two red terms we can operate on first because they both contain x. So 4x minus 3x is just 1x. Then a 7 gets copied and the right side you already have x plus 7 like that. Now you compare. You see this here is x and we can. you don't have to even write the 1. This is also x. This in green is 7 and here is also 7 in green. But the expressions look identical. You see that means for every value of x that you put in, the left and right sides are always equal. Not just for a single value of x. Not just for five values of x, for infinitely many values of x, like x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals negative 10, and so on. So this original thing here then is an identity. Okay, let's focus on a new example, so we'll take the previous two but kind of extend them a little bit more. And again, just imagine how great you will feel if you watch to the end, right, and you try to internalize all of the stuff that I'm presenting here. So this one says 3 times x plus 1 minus 2x, and on the right side you have x plus 3 plus x. Okay. So we need to somehow make the sides simplified. So on the left side, we can distribute the 3. I'm going to have 3x plus 3 times 1, so I'm distributing the 3, minus 2x. On the right side, I can combine the x's. There are two of them, so I'm going to have 2x plus 3. So now look, I'm going to have here on the left side, 3x plus 3 minus 2x equals 2x plus 3. On the left side, 3x minus 2x is 1x, so x plus 3. And then here I have 2x plus 3, so 2x plus 3. Now stop for a second. This is a little bit different, you see? Sure, this 3 here matches this 3. But now what's different is that you see this thing here, 2x, is not equal to x on the left side. So this equation here is not an identity because you've reached something where you have x and 2x. If you think back to the previous examples, this was x and this was x over here. Look, focus here, friends. Pay attention. You see this is x and this is x. And then this was 7 and this was 7. They were identical term by term. Same thing with this one. This ended up being 5x and 5x. Here we don't have that because we have x and we have 2x. These are different, even though the plus 3 parts are the same, but the x parts are not the same. All right, now let's finish up with this one here. So again, a bit more challenging, but don't get overwhelmed. Just focus, internalize, process, maybe watch it a few times. Eventually, it'll stick together in your brain into something cohesive. That's how it was for me. <laughs> so I distribute the 4. I'm going to have 4x plus 12 and then minus 2x plus 4. So what did I just distribute? I distributed this one and I distributed, say, this one. That's why it's 4x plus 12 minus 2x plus 4. On the right side, I have 2x plus 16. Not obvious that these two things are equal. So you got to continue to simplify. So if you do 4x with the negative 2x, that's going to give you the following on this side. Okay, let's focus here, okay? So 4x, I'm going to combine with this one right here in green. So 4x minus 2x is 2x. Now let's combine these two. So the red, let's say the red 12 and the positive 4 in red. So you have 2x and positive 12 plus 4 is positive 16. On the right side, I already have 2x plus 16. Now I stop and I compare very carefully to your viewer. Again, focus, really internalize. So here, this is red. And this is red. They're the same, those parts. 
Okay, let's bold the two X and now look at this one right here. You see how they're identical now? Specifically, again, this is 2x and this is 2x. They look identical. That means they are identical. And then this is 16 and this is 16. Again, they are identical. So when you have the two sides looking identical, it's an identity. That means it's true for every value of x you can imagine. Now, as a bit of advanced work, what you could do is the following. You could say uh, 2x minus 2x equals 16 minus 16. What I've just done here is I've moved the 16 to the right side, and then I moved the 2x to the left side. Now, which 2x, right? It gets a bit confusing because they bo they're both 2x. It doesn't matter. Just move one of them over. Just put the x's on one side in terms with constants on the other side. Now, 2x minus 2x is 0. 16 minus 16 is again equal to 0. And you see, 0 is always equal to 0. That's another way of knowing you have an identity. Anyway, so thank you for watching this. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful to you. If you have to, please be sure to watch it again and just really focus and try to internalize everything that I'm telling you. This is based usually on years of experience. I'm an instructor, a math instructor in NYC. If you like, it was helpful.